you're going to be wearing an itsy bitsy teeny weeny polka dot bikini to the office. <laughs> no, <laughs> sir. That's where you're off. That's that's where you're or let car. us tell you don't do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's our first tip. Spoiler alert. Yeah. But that's why we have Diane Gottsman here, our etiquette expert, to tell us how we can dress and look our best when we go to work mm -hmm. in the summer heat. Good to see you, Diane. Nice to see you. Welcome. And you all look so nice. Oh, thank we you. Try. you. But look yes. 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 This is a gorgeous dress yes. you have on. Thank is. you. But oh. I would not be invited into the speaker's lobby. No. So right. that's, you know, you know so no. it's no. all well, a matter let's, of... Let's lay it out for our viewers what yes. the speaker's lobby is. First off, in case you may not be aware of the story that came out. So several weeks ago, a reporter was not allowed to go into the speaker's lobby on Capitol, Capitol Hill, Hill because she was wearing sleeveless. So yeah. Uh, and that a very would not be me. sleeveless dress, yes. as such as you yourself are wearing. So, and this was a perfect, a perfect example of you know what guidelines look like. So, what is this? Okay, it's it's of the, uh, it's Sally. Sally, I guess wearing sleeveless. Giving yes. testimony. Okay. All right. And you know she looks nice. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's all a matter of guidelines. That's the it's, bottom line. It's so tough so here in the Texas it is, summers. We too. are hot. You mm -hmm. know it is sweltering. But the bottom line is, you know, we have to look at what your corporate guideline is. Right. This all of us would be very, very conservatively dressed based on a lot of the corporations here in Austin. Mm -hmm. So yes. again, you know, there is formal, which is for men. It's a dark suit. It's, you know, a, a jacket and pants. Okay. It is a white shirt or a light-colored shirt and a lace-up shoe. For women, mm -hmm. it's a dresser suit, heels, and conservative jewelry. So that would be okay. all of us. That would be, yeah. we're that we're would be exactly. That. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But then we have the casual. Business and Or the business, business casual. casual. And it's not what you think. It is not jeans. So we no, naturally no. think, oh, you so can wear jeans. Well, it's no, not. No, it's no. khakis. It, you wouldn't think it, right? So it's khakis. It's a nice shirt for guys. For women, it would still be a dress. We would still fall in, believe it or not. We would still fall into business casual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This yes. Is kind of business yeah. casual because I have casual. the, the yes. blouse skirt and the skirt. Yes, and, and a yep. in a nice shoe. You know, I say that if you're going to a power lunch, if you're going to really close a deal, mm -hmm. you want for women, you want to wear a little heel. Yeah. You want to wear a small heel. It just gives you that elevated look. You know, okay. there, no oh, pun yeah. intended, but it gives you that elevated look. If you can't because you have a foot problem, if you're in a cast, you know, these are all obvious questions. You know, so obvious. when you yeah. say, see, when you said little heel, I thought you meant it in height. Like, I, I, like a I'm, small, yeah. a short, yeah, a sure. kit, yes, a small oh, heel. So not so not heel. heel. So don't no go flats. wearing anything above three inches. Uh, well, well, you, you can. can wear I think higher. she's saying at least at wear least. some yeah. sort of yeah. heel. At least. Kit and heel. Yes. And for those who don't know what a kit and heel is, it's just a two or three inch skinny heel. Mm -hmm. You know, those hurt me, to tell you the truth. I yeah, do better in a high No. Yeah. No. So that's <laughs> business casual. And then okay. we've got casual. And really, you know, that is very acceptable as well, but it depends on your guidelines. It depends on what your mm -hmm. company guidelines say. And that would be jeans. Mm -hmm. That would be, you know, a pullover, polo top for a guy. You know, oftentimes, I'm, oftentimes I've asked, what about the capri pants? Mm -hmm. And, you know, for women, not for men. <laughs> so <laughs> for women, you know, the I think it's a good barometer to bring it closer to the ankle than closer to the knee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that makes it a little more formal for the office. Yeah, that makes sense. But you know, you look around. You look around at your boss. Mm -hmm. You look around at your peers. Yeah. You dress to the nicest dressed peer. You don't dress down to the one who comes in wrinkled and rolls out of bed. Mm -hmm. And for women, no. you can be the most beautiful woman in the whole entire universe, as you all are. Mm -hmm. But you know, makeup is so important. Just a tiny bit of makeup because what it shows is attention to detail. Mm -hmm. It shows that I, I got up, I swiped on a little gloss. It doesn't have to be red lipstick, but just something to say I took the extra time. Yeah, a little effort. A little a effort. Way. Yes, yes. So for sleeveless, really quickly, if you know that you're going into an environment that they require a sleeve, like Capitol Hill, yeah. you would wear a dress that you can put on a jacket, a blazer, a blazer, blazer. over it, and then take it off. Now, okay. if you're wearing this, you don't want to just throw on anything because it looks like it you're just wearing match. your neighbor's jacket. You know, mm -hmm. so you have to make sure it coordinates. Mm -hmm. Jackets have been required here at the Capitol too. We have all of our photographers. If they have to go over to the Capitol to shoot, they yes. usually have to even throw on a jacket. So again, <laughs> you have to know where you're going. It's just and respectful. You, that's in right. Some places, yeah. That's right. Know where you're going. Check the, the rules, and then you're safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Always safe advice for us. Yeah. Thank you.